All new tonight here at 6 o'clock, a state trooper helps a mother in labor get to the hospital just in time. And get this, it all happened on Father's Day. Well, today, the trooper reunited with the mother and baby, and WVZ's Paul Burton has our story from Worcester. Hi. I just wanted to find out your name and, yeah. and say thank you because there was not much I could say. Mariana and Isaac Marino are all smiles. Their bundle of joy got delivered safely and just in the nick of time, all thanks to Massachusetts State Trooper Daniel Gill. Had to step it up a little bit and get here. Trooper Gill is talking about the mad dash to the hospital for the delivery of Samuel Alexander Mello Marino, who was born on Father's Day. Mariana says she went into labor Sunday morning. On the way, they spotted Trooper Gill on the side of the highway, issuing a ticket to another driver. As soon as the car was, was pulling over, I, I, another contraction started. So I was just like tapping on the window. And I was looking at him and I wanted to say something, but I just couldn't say anything. Just wait 30 seconds before you start pushing. <laughs> we got to get you through the doors. Trooper Gill immediately placed her into his cruiser and double timed it to St. Vincent's Hospital. The blue lights helped cut through traffic, so we were able to get there quicker than, than mom would have. And then I felt I could have delivered on his car. And I was just praying, God, please. Trooper Gill was about seven miles from St. Vincent's Hospital, the same hospital where he had his own two children. He knew being a part of this delivery was very special, especially on Father's Day. Oh, it was excellent, especially if happening on Father's Day. Um, it, it was very special. And thankfully, Officer Gill was here, and he, uh, you know, he really, uh, really helped out my family, and we're very, very thankful to him. Best Father's Day yet? Best Father's Day yet. Sammy is 6 pounds, 13 ounces, and happy to be on his way home. In Worcester, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.